Hi guys, Debbie here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. So today's video is going to be my monthly haul for July. I've got quite a lot of things to show you, but this will be my last big haul like this for a while, I'm hoping. I'm going to try to be a very good girl for August, September and October. So at the end of this video, I will talk a little bit more about that. But, but this is quite a big haul. I think I've got 15 items. So I'm going to go through everything I, I got in July and let's just get started. So... Yesterday I uploaded a video with my first item, which is this, which is the Paradise Palette from Barry M. And if you want to check out my thoughts on that, as I say, the video went up yesterday, I'll link it below. That's the colours inside. It is absolutely beautiful colour story of duochromes. I struggled a bit using it, as you'll see in the video. But I am going to play some more with it because the duochromes in there are absolutely gorgeous. And I picked that up at Superdrug for £12.99. So I'm not sad that I got it. As I say, if you want to know a little bit more about it, then I'll link the video so that you can watch that. So also eyeshadow wise, I picked up the Lethal Cosmetics. This was the Synergy palette, I believe. Um, but it's a empty palette and then you fill it with your own singles. These I absolutely adore. I've not played with all of them yet. I've played with the yellowy colour or yellowy green there and some of the pinkier tones. I've not really played with any of the blues or greens yet so still need to find time to, to create some more looks with these but love the concept from Lethal that you can choose your own shades and see your palette coming together using their palette creator tool and get exactly what you want but none of what you don't want in your palette. I've got another palette kind of sitting there on their site which if I don't find anything else in August that I want to buy then I might pull the trigger and just buy that because I've been so impressed with the quality of their shadows and as I say I love the concept as well. So also in eyeshadows you've seen me this month play with this. I played with it in a get ready with me. It's the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry palette from the Tutti Frutti collection. Love the cute packaging on this just beautiful and then that's the shades inside so very berry inspired and a lot of my kind of tones particularly on this side so really love that and I also at the same time picked up this as well which is strobe berry one of their fruit cocktail blush duos and that's the gorgeous shades inside that one and I'm loving that just for having a small palette of blushes that I can pick up really easily, a couple of shades but that I can leave in my handbag or have in my top drawer of my makeup drawer, easy accessible so and they are super pretty on the cheeks, a little bit of a sheen to them. Also when I picked that up I was in London in the Carnaby Street store, it's a store devoted just to Too Faced products so Too Faced lovers dream actually, I was just like oh my god what do I buy? But I decided to pick up this, which is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in Translucent. And so glad I've got this. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've used it every day since I got it. It's got a really nice packaging that like the sifter kind of closes down so that you don't get powder everywhere every time you open it up. It's super finely milled. It sort of blurs out your skin really well. I can understand why it was sold out every time I went to go and get it in our Debenhams, which is where I normally buy Too Faced from. It's because it is really, really good. So, yeah, loving that. Also on the same day, I was doing a bit of damage while I was in London. So, I bought this as well, which I've not shown yet on my channel, which is um, Subtle Sunrise is the shade, but it's one of the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo highlighters. So, that's the shades inside that one. I bought this because I'd seen Paulina Beauty talking so much about this product. I don't know if I've got the same shade that she has and she looks absolutely stunning in hers. When I put it on me, it's kind of a subtle sheen. It's not, in fact actually I haven't got any highlight on, I don't think. I think I've forgotten highlight today. Who am I? So I'm just going to put some off. This was totally not planned. I just suddenly thought I haven't got any on. I look a bit strange. So I'm going to go with the more deeper of the two colours. And it is, I guess it's giving me quite a shine, but it's not like see it from space kind of highlight. It's more so 
as long as I mix it with the light one actually see if that works better for my skin colour I often do that like mix two together that's better I've got a bit of dimension now it's nice it's a good subtle one to use like more for no makeup-y makeup days I guess when you don't want a big streak of highlight on your cheeks but I kind of like a big streak of highlight so I don't know how much I'm going to use it but I wanted to try it so so that's the pixie highlighter so that's pretty much everything I got in London I believe I'm sure it is At the same time as I picked up the Ariane palette that I've shown you earlier I also got this which is just a body scrub but it was free if you spent over eight pounds and they often do deals like this in Superdrug and oh my god this smells gorgeous it's coconut scented and it's like it's a shower gel but it's got like grains in it that kind of slow away all the dead skin and it's absolutely gorgeous so going to be repurchasing that they did a good thing kind of tempted me to buy that because I think I'll be buying that a lot now and then just as I was leaving Superdrug at the the kind of bit where you pay I noticed these so I love Real Techniques brushes and there's three brushes in here there's a Rebel Edge Trio my lights are reflecting so I don't know if you can see them a bit better there haven't opened them yet or used them but you they sort of want a bit of a weird slant like the brushes on a slant so I don't know how I'm going to get on with them but they're meant to be for sort of bronzer highlighter and then there is one that's for eyeshadow which is on a very strange slant on it but five pounds for all three brushes so I thought it was rude not to it's one of those impulsive purchases just as I left and I thought do you know what for five pounds what have I got to lose just to try them out so I'll keep you posted on those, I'll maybe use those in a future full face get ready with me so that you can see them in action. Right, then I've got the thing I'm probably the most excited about for the month of July's haul and that is this, the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt. I have wanted to try Melt Cosmetics for the longest time and specifically this palette and then Beauty Bay got just about everything else on there. They got the stacks, they got their lipsticks, got everything. They didn't have any of the bigger palettes like the Gemini or the 27 palette and then they got those but still didn't have the one that I really wanted which was this one, the Smoke Sessions. Then they got it in whilst I was on holiday and by the time I realised it was there it sold out but finally I have it. So this is just a Debbie in an eyeshadow palette. I love greens, I love grungy sort of tones. At the moment with my pink hair I think I'll be playing more in the sort of minty greens because I think that will match a lot better. And then as my hair fades back to blonde, which won't be long, I'll be going into these sort of shades for more autumn time. And I absolutely love gold shadows and there's some beautiful tones of gold in there. I was concerned whether it would arrive in one piece because I know that they're super fragile shadows, but it's absolutely perfect. And I understand from talking to other people that they've reformulated and they're a bit better pressed now and not so fragile. So it's probably fortunate that I couldn't get hold of it when I first wanted to. But I'm really excited to play with that and there'll be videos coming up on that soon. Then I wasn't going to buy an awful lot else this month. I've got oddments here and there to show you at the end. But, but the next thing that I bought was this which is going to reflect horribly off my lights but it's the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. I've got all of the Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, the Latte, the Lemonade and the Berries and Cream and I love them all so I knew I had to get this one. This is the packaging inside and I don't think you can do it justice on camera just how gorgeous the shades are but I'll hold it up and, and show you the colours but oh my god it's just beautiful like the shift in some of those shadows is just amazing the shimmers and it's neutral but with some interesting pops of color so it's so hard to hold it up and get it all in focus at the same time but but yeah well, i'll be featuring this on my channel and doing some looks with it soon so you'll be seeing it more anyway but that i only picked up yesterday so not played with it at all not even swatched it because I don't tend to swatch things I just play with them pretty much straight out of the palette so but when I ordered that I also ordered uh, three lipsticks because of National Lipstick Day so I'll show you those in a moment but if you bought two items at the same time on Beauty Base site which is where I bought that palette you got this free 
which is beauty base everything you need so and it's the brights one they've got everything you need neutrals etc they've got all different ones but this one's the brights and these are the colors inside i've not tried anything from beauty bay's own brand and i probably wouldn't have picked it up because i've got so many of these types of shades but i'm interested to see what their formula's like because i think this is about nine pounds to buy so it's not too expensive and they've got one that's like fiery reds in it which looks beautiful so for all different color schemes and then they've got bigger ones going up to about 40 odd shades i believe so so I have tried one thing actually from Beauty Bay's um, brand, thinking about it. I've got the Jordan Lipscomb Trooper palette, which is a uh, green kind of uh, shades in it and a highlighter, and that is good. Uh, but those came out before they launched their own specific brand. So that was just a collaboration with Jordan Lipscomb, who's another influencer. But this one is from their own brand, and they've got lots of things on their site now from this specific own brand label so excited to play with that and give you my thoughts on it and it's always a, a bonus if you get something free so I wasn't going to say no to that but also in that haul I picked up two Anastasia bullet lipsticks love their lipsticks I feature them a lot on my channel they were buy one get one free for national lipstick day so I've got two as I say I got this shade which is stargazer that's that one and I got this one which is plum area I'm really happy to have those in my collection I've got lots of sort of brownish reds from the brand I've got a couple of neutrals I've got dusty mauve which is my favorite cool tone mauvey shade in that same formula I love that formula because it's quite a drying bullet lipstick in a way but because of that it stays put really well and it's not as drying as a liquid lipstick so I really enjoy that formula of lipstick so to get them they're normally £20 so to get one free it's an absolute bargain and then also I've been after this lipstick for the longest time which is Dose of Colours Extra Saucy I've got three other shades of Dose of Colours lipsticks and I absolutely love all of them so this is the component and the shade is like a raspberry kind of dark raspberry red shade absolutely stunning I've seen it on other people and every time I see it pop up in a video I'm like I need that lipstick I need to get it so that had 25% off so I did quite well because I got the Dominique Rustic Glam Palette that free eyeshadow palette and the two Anastasia lipsticks and the Dose of Colour lipstick and it cost me £67 for the lot so What's a girl to do? I couldn't resist that. I thought that was a really good deal. Then on the day I went shopping with my friend down at Rushton Lakes, which I talked about in my Get Ready With Me that I was meeting up with, with an old friend I'd not seen for a little while. Uh, well, my best friend actually. So whilst I was waiting for her to turn up, I had a little browse around the Nars counter and I found these. So these came out at Christmas. They're part of the Provocateur collection, which is like a punk inspired collection that they came out with then. So both of them are really super dark, gothy kind of colours, which I really enjoy. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see them through the, the packaging. You can't really see them on the one. They just look really dark. But that one's like a, a dark kind of burgundy. And then this one's more of a bronzy sort of black in the tube. The liquid lipstick formula. Just on a little, it's a bit of a strange wand actually. It's like, yeah, it's just like a tip to it. It's not even really a doe foot. But I have tried them on and they go on really nicely. And I love NARS products anyway. I've got the Pro Provocateur eyeshadow palette and I've got two of the, the bullet lips as well. Okay, coming to the end of the haul now. But whilst I was buying the Lethal Cosmetics palette that I showed you earlier, I also picked up one of the Chimera liquid lipsticks. This one's in the colour Nemesis. When I bought it, I thought it was going to be completely black. But it's like a, a dark black with like a... A bronzy sort of sparkle to it not tried it on my lips yet I haven't had the chance to wear a color like that really looking forward to playing with that particularly when it comes more towards autumnal looks and halloween looks etc not like I do halloween makeup but you know what i mean like a bit more vampy look should i say so the last thing i got isn't really well i suppose you call them makeup but it's nail polishes but i thought i'd show you because i 
um, I had a couple of comments about my nail polish recently and I've been collecting this particular range and I've just got two of them here to show you which are the two I bought in July so they're from this range under the sea and they're just duochrome beautifulness this one's like well it's called coral I think yeah coral reef this one's called and it's got a kind of pink shift on an orange base really pretty and then this one's called Pacific Flame and this one's kind of it's hard to describe it's like a dark pink but with a green shift to it it's really nice and then I thought to darken that one up if I wanted to, I bought this one, which is just one of their gel nail polish range, but this one's in matcha, which is like a grungy green. And I thought, I love grungy green. So when I'm playing with my grungy green eyeshadows, I'll have some nail polishes to match. So, so quite a lot in July's haul. Hope you enjoyed seeing all the things I've got. Love to know what things you were picking up in July, or did you get any other things that I did here? I'd love to know. Now, just as a little side note, as I say, I'm going on a low buy for August, September and October, just for those three months. And I'm going to set myself some rules because when I've sat and added this makeup up here, it's over £300, which you wouldn't believe when you see. And what have I got? Yes, yeah, so I've got six eyeshadow palettes, five lipsticks, three nail polishes, a powder, some blusher, um highlighter palette, brushes, I have got a lot, but £300, that is very scary to me, so, and that's kind of what I am spending on a regular basis, which is absolutely shocking, I don't need to be spending this much, I've got so many things in my collection, so I'm going to tone it way back, I'm going to give myself a budget, I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it and not get tempted, so I'm going to set myself a £100 budget, which sounds like quite a lot to spend on makeup, but you can spend, as I'm sure you all know, £40 on, on one item quite easily. So it's probably going to end up only two or maybe three items in the month, depending on what I decide to buy. I'm not going to set any rules like I can't have eyeshadow or I can't have two of the same type of products, etc. I'm just going to set a budget because for me, that's what it's about. It's reducing the amount of things I buy, but also the amount of money that I'm spending on it. I've got a holiday coming up in September. I want to have some money to spend while I'm there and I'm going to have probably a big haul in November for Black Friday, which is what I love to do when the bargains are there. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be playing with all this lovely stuff that I've got. I've got lots that I haven't shown you. I've not shown you the Dominique Cosmetics one, the Melt one, the one from Beauty Bay yet. So there's lots of new stuff to, to show you, but I'm gonna do content around palette bingos, collabs with other people, challenges, etc. this month and probably Another one of my whole week of the same palette with another palette maybe. So, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to be focusing on for the month of August. But as I say, I will be picking up probably at least one eyeshadow palette because eyeshadow is my passion. But the most I'm going to allow myself to spend is £100 on makeup in August, September and October. So I hope you're not going to find it boring and you're not going to all leave me because I'm not doing everything brand new. But thank you so much for all of the positive comments around seeing some of the older things in my collection. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a like. And if you aren't subscribed already and you'd like to be, I'd love to have you. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.